Welcome back to Let's Play Sword of the Stars. I'm Hunter Black Luna, and we're still with the Lear for now. So let us proceed. System update. You know, as far as playing session goes, I mean, it didn't seem like this was as action packed as the other two. Definitely not as long, especially if the time flies by at this rate. We're almost halfway through our first Lear session, everybody. We've had, like, a battle or two that's worth writing home about. Not that I particularly mind, of course. Homeworld. You know what I want built? Torpedo Destroyer, of course. We'll try three of them. Fusion torpedoes are the shizzle nizzle, so yes, Elder. they'll probably the help. Fusion weavers. I have enormous hopes for these vessels. How many ships are going there? One ship. I should fuck their universe, but I don't think I'd be able to manage an intercept. Hmm, unless I sent them to the same world and they came alongside. Ah, uh, we don't have the range for that. Just head on to... Where am I basing most of my fleet from? Looks like... I don't really have a centralized place to concentrate my fleet, do I? Um... Woof. This is the place where I sent a lot of my ships so they'd be slightly less out of danger. I don't know, none of these places are safe, but... I guess I'll just send you guys up there. We move between seconds. Wrong fleet. I want you guys to move between seconds. We rise with the tide, Elder. And we'll detach a tanker. Turning into the black. The Lear are kind of interesting, and I suppose, <clears throat> excuse me guys, I suppose if we're not going to have tons of action, I could tell you a little more about the Lear. Or we could have action. 13 cruisers, 13 Hiver cruisers, and Fane Kona has a little heart. That's weird. What are the Hivers doing otherwise? Brave Star? That's probably a scout. Hmm. Korakura. That's their home world. Liruma. Raiders. Huh. We don't have FTL economics yet, so that has to be against uh, the Hivers. Nothing really to see here unless... Oh, you know what. Let's go ahead and watch this. See what happens. I love the Lear battle music, so any excuse to introduce it into a video, I'll probably take it. Unless it's like a scout. Those don't matter. But just as a quick note, the Lear used to be like pacifists. <laughs> Not anymore, though. <laughs> But they still think that their soldiers and stuff might contaminate everyone else because of their psychic nature. Like they might spread sociopathy. And so most uh, black swimmers, which are what their uh, astronauts are called, never return home. They always keep themselves in space so they don't contaminate their friends with, you know, all the violence and death that they have to go through out here. It's surprisingly similar to what like war veterans now go through in some ways. Although they don't have to keep themselves in isolation. And in fact, that would kind of be a monstrous policy. Now see, this is what I'm fucking talking about. Missiles, beam weapons. All the good business. Enemy's gonna beeline for the planet. Beeline for the gate. Enemy ain't stupid. They might get it, but while they're shooting it... They'll get this up their asses. 
Now see, the enemy managed to snipe the gate, but... That doesn't do him any, any good if they're dead. Plus, they can just manufacture another gate on site if the AI is smart enough to realize that. Next line of enemy ships coming in alongside their command vessel. Ooh. Won't be their command vessel for long, something tells me. Awesome business. Yep. Oh, they're so dead. like one bastard left. It's weird that they're not hyperspacing away. I don't know, if they think they can hold on, they could win. I doubt it. I really got my doubts about it, guys. But hey, the enemy wants to throw away cruisers. I'm fine with that. I'm perfectly fine. The project is completed, Elder. Wow, it was at the place we've been basing our fleet, but Fane Khan had decided to move the whole fleet to God knows where. Fane Khan still has a fleet, yeah. Everyone's at Cruiser Fusion. Although we might just have to change that. FTL Economics is awesome. Hmm. There's always more technologies I want to get. That's the rub, ain't it? I don't use projectors all that much, so I don't need fusion projectors. I'm actually pretty happy with the state of our weapons technology right now, everybody. Phasers, heavy combat lasers, UV lasers, fusion cannons, fusion torpedoes. We could go for shields. Shields have been proven to be really strong, but we already have such good armor tech that it might be a little redundant to further improve our defenses. Yeah, yeah. Instead of that... Well, we could go for mega freighters. But I don't know. I think we're gonna go whole hog, everybody. We have been given all we need, Elder. Anti-matter. Probably won't get it unless we make an early breakthrough, although Lear are great at early breakthroughs. As opposed to, say, the humans, which I think it's confirmed that they are the worst for over budget. Like, their researchers will go over budget all the goddamn time. Probably because they're not required to ritually impale themselves. Although the Tarkas do it too, so you can understand why they have that practice in place. Trust me, I understand it quite well sometimes. Fusion Weavers. You know what? Let's design ourselves a freighter post haste so we can start getting raided by the enemy. Huh. Weird look about it. Uh. On these freighters, just give them laser point defense. So that way we can maybe like tell them to run away and they'll be able to run away a little more effectively against marauding ships. Or What's the range on that? Pretty good range. Yeah, might as well. I mean, it doesn't really matter. If this thing gets hit by raiders, it's yes, probably dead. Ready for construction. And if we properly manage the economy... We will get good dividends. Yes, Elder. The vessels will be completed soon. Good to hear. Battle at Kagrol. It sort of still rages, but it doesn't really. System there. Problem updates. solved. Problem solved with extreme prejudice. Hmm. Enemy gate fleet of four ships is headed there. They're not going to succeed. Friendly fleet. 14 cruisers. 
That is a significant thing. And it looks like the enemy's taking the threat pretty seriously. I have a feeling this is what our our war is going to devolve into. Luckily the hybrid should be able to handle most of this. Even just scouts. I don't get you, Hivers. I just don't get Hivers. Even when I'm playing as Hivers. Alright. Let's start staffing trade routes. Yeah. Oh, something that I may have made very uh, unclear in previous videos. It's important to note that going under a million Imperial savings doesn't generate a negative one morale. It just takes away the plus one that comes from having over a million in savings. Now the net effect is a negative one because under no other influences its population limits inhibit freedom so it's effectively a minus one per turn which is how I went into revolt last time even though nothing really bad happened there because I wasn't watching the treasury although as we've seen FTL economics allows us to make up for that by fully staffing trade routes which is really damn helpful just one of the things that makes trading so wonderful move you guys up here too we can even use this kind of fleet to herp and derp around to the enemy although we'll probably want to watch that and be careful more freighters please looks like we can make a good number a turn the steel singers are ready to build alright well the budget was already looking excellent so adding more money to the budget it's good good stuff good stuff what if we mess with the slider Ooh. Let's pump even more into antimatter, shall we? Hmm. Although maybe we should keep the slider where it was and then pump freighters so we can pump more money. Yeah, you have to balance all these kind of concerns. But getting FTL economics, I'll stand by that any day. Hmm. Yeah, no problem. Not even worth caring about. All oh, right, the default is to fight. Oh well. Although one thing I will note is, uh, because the Lear travel by teleports, they don't have inertia as has been stated a couple times. But... Yeah, just run away. We'll let the Hivers handle this, guys. But if, uh, Lear ship loses its engines and continues drifting in the direction it was going, just like every other race except they don't have momentum so they should just stop dead in the water like bad sci-fi has written for ships like they lose their engines bam dead in the water no there never was a need to fight why are you so broken well we can't let that go unanswered because your mother's thighs are far too powerful. BAM! And with my stunning diplomatic skill, you guys might be wondering how we got in such a huge war. Or how we got two other allies. <laughs> if you're a douche to me, you get... You get the pointy end. Just like the defenders of Moore's collective mothers. God damn, I'm such a college student. Yes, Elder. The vessels will be completed. All right. Soon. Trade route that shit. I just use trade route as a verb and there's nothing you can do about it. System updates. 8%. Small fleet approaching Elder. Ah, they'll be dealt with effortlessly. 
They might get a gander at our new ship types, but I don't honestly care that much. We're getting there, everybody. It looks like we could use two more freighters here. The steel sailors are ready to Good stuff. Build. In fact, that balances almost perfectly for once. Scouts. Quite a bit more than a scout. These guys are so dead, though, not worth watching. Cogrel. At the same place they got attacked. Seriously, fuck you, Von Newmans. Let's go check up to see what happened on that turn. Many vessels are coming toward Many ve- Ho ho. We've got company. One ship there. Four ships there. Hmm. Alarma is strike force CNC, right? You know what, guys? Let's keep two strike force CNCs here. Send the rest to the capital or something. I don't know. Laurel. Laurel works. We have received coordinates. Steel Rage. We hear yeah, your it looks, voice coming to new Looks like we both got improved stutter warp, so we're back on an even footing with each other. I don't know, I'm not worried. And of course, we're using the Strike Force CNC by default because. No, there's no reason for that. No reason at all. That's bad. It's no good. There we go. That is more like it. We will just allow the reinforcements to come in whatever order. We'll be fine, especially since the Hivers will send a force to supplement our defenses. And we have defense platforms ready. And Our boys will be home by Christmas. Alright, 8 of 9 trade round staffed. So that means we need one more freighter, which will be done next turn. So we can refocus on the good stuff. Well, I guess the Lear wouldn't really call implements of death and destruction good stuff, because they're better people than I am. My god, that trade income went up quickly. What is the home world? At Anoshi. 17 cruisers? Yeah, I guess we'll participate in our own defense. Oof. I don't think that's gonna go well, guys. Unless they can snipe the enemy gate and set up their own. Which probably won't happen without direct human management. Here. Yeah, same, same deal. Let's get to it, everybody. You know, for defenders, they're pretty eager to use bioweapons against us. Calling us broken. Maybe they're not so different from humans after all. Alright everybody, places people, places. We've got a big fucking performance coming up. Fall back to the planet. Our command ship is useless, but we have a fusion weaver in the fight everybody. And that portents very good things for this defense. Allies are coming slow as usual. Don't be hasty, Master Hobbit. There's that CNC. There they come, boys. Command ship will take neutral positioning. Everyone else, rock and roll. Concentrate on one bitch, then concentrate on the next. Get them learned real good. You want to face the enemy with those heavy combat lasers? 
or face an enemy ever. That'd be good. Our friends arrive. No problem whatsoever. Anna, she is safe as houses. And the houses on her are safe. Good work, everybody. Sorry. I still forget how to pause. Sorry, I try never to hum. That's fine, guys. Sometimes to make an omelet, you know how it goes. This ship does not want to face the enemy. Now oh, there goes our range of the flag. Oh, they want to stop fighting. After they attack our world. I'm afraid I won't allow that. No, you guys are gonna die here. Not many, yep. I need to get deep scanned at some point too, that reminds me. So I guess I should thank them for trying to kill us. Hmm. Our leader captains aren't going to use fusion weavers effectively. Let's try dark stingers. We shall weave steel and fire, Elder. Ho oh, ho. Not worth even thinking about. And at Passum, same deal. Guys are beyond dead. You are already dead. And then they like blow apart. We would possibly enjoy not killing you. Nope.avi. Yes, I know I'm talking at the computer, but I do that anyway, so whatever. It's not like it's any different from normal. I don't even think they're capable of understanding that. That'd be a good thing for Sword of the Stars too, which is, by the way, it's coming. And I am excited as shit for it. In just a couple months, which is one of the things that compels me to maybe try and speed up the recording of this LP. Just a tad. Uh, what else is here? Yes, Sandra. We move as you command. Let's take some of these tankers that are just sitting around doing nothing. Especially this guy right here. We move between seconds. And you two go to the homeworld, just so things built at the homeworld will have range. Should have done that a long time ago, but sometimes I'm not bright like that. More Dark Singers. Might be more effective than HCLs in the hands of the fishies. Defend Coco Tan. What? Oh, that's more enemies incoming. They haven't got a ghost of a chance. And here we should be good against their scout as long as they remember to actually kill it. There you go. Looks like the scout killed someone. Alright, we got a request to defend Coco Tan. Against... Oh, against that. Hmm. Wait. You guys have a gate there. Why are you sending these guys sublight? <laughs> Will they arrive sooner? They'll still arrive quicker, but... Man. That's an inefficient way to reinforce your stuff, you know what I'm saying? We've actually got the galaxy pretty evenly divided although hmm, 
it looks like we've got slightly more than the enemy. It also looks like the Hivers got really badly shafted. Like, the Hivers can either go crazy or they can get, like, four worlds. Even though we don't have intel on every single world yet, we're, we're getting a pretty clear picture of the composition of the enemy. Pump it all into research, guys. I want fu- I want antimatter. We have fusion. I want antimatter with System quickness. Updates. And then if you look at morale, trade maximized here. Could you build freighters? I'd even be willing to go below a million to do it. Give me six. The steel singers are ready to build. Sounds good. And here at Wuna. I want six as well. Yes, Elder. The vessels will Look be at that income. God damn. So lovely. Looks like this place can only support three trade routes. So three will maximize it. Five will maximize that. Let's set these guys to trading. Just put them on an economic footing. How many can you support? Five. One, two, three, four, five. We begin construction now. Five. Five stellar freighters. Ah, ah, ah. We shall use yeah. steel and fire, elder. Fuck money. We'll get more money out of this eventually anyway. Anashi. One more, please. The steel One bam. are ready to build. We should see some good returns on that stuff, guys. Including already getting raided. System updates. That's the damage. Huh. We didn't get a report. I guess we didn't lose a freighter then. That's fine. Yeah, they're gonna lose a net of negative one morale, but only until they get their freighters built, so that's like 5-10 turns absolute maximum. That's fine. They'll still keep steady, and if you have morale over 80, I believe I'm told, you get a production bonus on the world, so... Eh, it's fine. And here... Jesus! Wait, what? No, how did this happen? Hivers, what are you doing? Where's your fleet? Where's your goddamn hundreds of... Ugh. System updates. Huh. Looks like the enemy lost just about as many ships. Still, that's... That's dangerous, man. Reinforce that shit. Do I really need to tell you guys this? I guess I will. Defend. Kagrel. Dumbass. None shall pass. There you go. That's a good attitude to have. It's our income. It's looking up, looking up. Once we hit 50%, which shouldn't take long, things will be good. Ah, balls. We've got a freighter there. That probably means that freighter is beyond dead. Can't make peace with raiders. I don't want to watch, though. I don't usually watch civilians getting gunned down. Alright, this is getting annoying as shit. System updates. Sector 8, one ship was destroyed. Get yourself another. The steel singers are ready to build. We're still profiting mightily. We should get commerce rating. But we'd have to actively put effort into it. 
The storm of steel comes. Ho oh, ho. Oh. You don't see him one turn out. Alright, antimatter then fucking deep scan like priority. It increases the range of your planet scans as well as special uh, gives you special ships that see like super duper far like two enemy worlds so we can just see what they have naturally alright this is a huge fucking problem actually um Dayloom what are you hmm That leaves that planet vulnerable. I don't exactly see what else I could do. Turning into the black. Yeah, go to pass him. Um, and let's ask our friends for help here. Pose to alliance, defend, pass him. Now, our ships cannot reach the pass him system to defend it from attack. You have a gate there. You can reach. You can fucking reach. Alright, guys, we might have us a uh, situation on our hands. I guess relying on our friends for defense doesn't always turn out like you think it will. Disappointingly enough. Twenty four twenty seven enemy cruisers versus eh. I wanna sim this battle, but I don't know what'll happen. Fuck it, let's rock. Either we hold them here, or we're so beyond screwed. So that's pretty simple in the end. And I usually like simple things. Alright. Haven't done that particular mistake in a while. Alright, Alarma. Tell you what, Ma. Mark this current and move as ordered. Well, you guys just stand by. We got just dark singers, that means a lot of missiles. Friends will be coming, and I'm hoping with the double team act we can pull, it'll be okay. Yes, Elder. Yes. Here they come, boys. Let's try not setting them to a stance. Maybe that will help them be more intelligent. Although, I don't know, they're not using uh, the heavy combat lasers as much, so let's just set them to close. Except for you guys. I'd like you to pull back, please. Thank you. Alright, it's just gonna be a vulgar brawl. I'll keep ours selected so you can tell which is which. so useless like there's certain things that the Lear AI does to easily make itself worthless and I don't know why our command ship is standing off at a safer distance alright our buds are here along with mine layers which will of course do a uh, Friggin' ton and a half of good. We are holding them after the planet, though, so they're not getting their lumps in on passing, which is growing pretty decently. 
my passive, you've grown up quickly. Eh, eh. God, the sign of a true 4X player is when you start making jokes about shagging your own colonies. I think that is like the official stage. That went better than predicted. Or did it? Huh. It didn't go necessarily bad. It was even. Repair all. Can't tell it to auto repair though because I don't know why. We don't have a repair ship here. Let's build something in place to hurt them. Steel rage. What is the steel rage mount? Alright guys, in the interests of not dying, the steel singers are ready to build. shift over to construction. Morale is going to become a problem here. We might need propaganda ships eventually. But we're going to worry about that next time on Let's Play Sword of the Stars Succession Edition. I'm Hunter Black Luna. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.